All right, friends, it's Tian. I'm back uh, doing a quick recap, man. On uh, you know who, Jason Blaha, strength and bullshit. Uh, the lifting, uh, the lifting slave. Trying to look like we can lift a heavy weight without being strong is fake and lying. Trying to look like we can lift a heavy weight without being strong is fake and lying. Mm, yeah, if you're an endurance athlete, endurance people can't lift a heavy weight. They're practicing for endurance. But again, if you're lifting in the if you're lifting in the room, you can be strong, and look big, and be strong. You could be small and look strong. I'll, I'll explain this. <laughs> I know this sounds really messed up, but I'll explain this in the in the beginning of the video here when we take off. Listen to this bullshit rant. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here, and I thought I would sit down and do a video for you guys this morning. Right. It's like the I got a bigger, but I didn't get a stronger. I got a stronger, but I didn't get a bigger, and I'll explain that. Yeah, it's a forearm shot. Um, this one will be a bit of a nod to Revival Fitness. Um, one of my followers who, who sends me a lot of stuff uh, said, hey, you know, he kind of sounds like you in this video, and I haven't watched it yet, but I'll, I'll assume because this person watches the stuff that he did go there. And he's like, um, you know, this sounds like things you've said, and one of the things he said in there is that it is kind of ridiculous for people to want to look like they can lift a weight without being able to lift the weight. And really, one of the best... That is true. And I'll explain this really quick, because I can't listen to his stupid shit all day. I'll lose, I'll lose the people watching their attention. So um, here it is, right here. And then we'll let him rant about his bullshit. So, um, hold on a second. Here it is. So we know that trained people coming in the gym, they get sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, okay? Because you are an endurance, you're an endurance athlete because you're coming in often to the gym. You're a chronic lifter. If you're a chronic lifter, you're getting endurance. So your glycogen loading in the muscle, that, that glycogen hypertrophies the muscle, giving you artificial muscle growth, okay? But it's an energy source. You're using it as a cosmetic source. The body's using it as ATP source, get it? But you are seeing it visually, so you think visually, well, I got muscles, it's fake. That's why it tells you here, myositic androgen receptor controls the strength, but not the mass of the limb muscles. Do you understand me? It does not control the mass of the limb muscles. Yeah. So lifting a heavy weight, does getting a stronger, lifting a heavy weight strength cannot get you a bigger. You understand me? That's why people complain, I'm getting a stronger, but I'm not getting a bigger. And then you have people that complain, I got a bigger, but I didn't get a stronger. You understand me? I got a bigger, but I didn't get a stronger. Because you're going to the gym, you're still lifting weights, you're an endurance athlete, and what your body's compensating you with, every time you progressively overload heavier on the frame of your body, it gives you these androgen receptors, they widen, you get more of them. You understand me? And they make you stronger. But they're not responsible for the mass of the limb muscles. Yeah, man. A stronger cannot get you a big guy. You understand me? Now, if you walk around with 500 pounds on your body, that's called gravitational loading. Your body will be forced to increase the size of the muscle cells and the bone to accommodate you for walking around on this planet with 500 pounds, you carrying 500 pounds of shit in your diapers. Now you understand that? All right, we got that clear, bro. And so that energy source, what you're talking about, it's right here. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Your volume training, you keep coming in, is sarcoplasmic. It's a type of artificial muscle growth, okay? So we all know that. Being able to lift the weight. And really, one of the best things you can do is to actually be able to lift the weight if you want to look like you can do it. And I think people... No, you don't have to lift the weight to look like you do it. You can eat a lot of potatoes and go into the gym and just do, just do anything in there. Just keep lifting. Keep pumping that glycogen. Get the pump. Shoot for the pump and you can fake it. People forget that when it comes to particularly naturals. Naturals who are really he, he Naturals, he, he's, he's on steroids and he looks like newbie gains. Look, he's still in the newbie gain phase. My community section, look at that picture. There's your coach, Coach Blaha, stuck in Newbie Gains forever. He doesn't know about the MND size limit, myonuclear domain size limit. 
reach the ceiling limit when you first came into the gym. So it moves into type one because you're chronic lifting. That's why if you all try to get ripped or whatever you're doing, you're going to lose all those fake sarcoplasmic, fake ATP gains, energy gains in the muscles that it's holding. And you'll get worse and worse. He's trying to control it now because I can see he's still too smooth. He's not completely ripped because he'd be so skinny at this point. There would be nothing left. Just his newbie gains of five pounds that he gained. I don't know, maybe 50 years ago or whatever. 40 years ago he gained or something. 30 or 30 years ago he gained. 30 years ago a newbie gain of five pounds. You understand me? Because it reached on my own nuclear domain size limit. Yeah, man. It's really, it's really simple to, 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 to prove these things. Look, when, you, when, they, when he first got, came into the gym, he got this. This is what he got. See that? Untrained, first trained satellite cell fusion, boom, hypertrophy. It reached an MND size limit. See that? Detrain, retrain, detrain, retrain. That's it. That's it. There's nothing there. Nuclei synthesized protein. We'll give you no more. This whole natural thing, it's fake. You understand me? You can build those big ATP muscles just like any other bodybuilder. Eat bowls and bowls of potato. Yeah, man. Not just a little bit of an illusion on camera, but who are stacked when you see them in person. Did he just claim he was stacked in person? Stacked when you see them in person. Tend to be real, real stacked. He is not stacked in person. He's tiny and small. He's got 12 inch arms. Strong. Okay. I just, I just proved to you, getting a stronger doesn't get you a bigger. It's impossible. That's why, that's why your phony coach, your, your lifting slave coach here is tiny. He's small with 12 inch arms. He's never growing. He's never growing. That's why he's doing bodybuilding. He wants to get lean, the aesthetic look, because he can't build muscle. Has an MND size limit, broski. When I say this, I'm not telling you that you need to train longer at maxes. If people not understand it's beyond, it says there. It tells you in science, they already know this. It's beyond. It says beyond where the progenitor can donate any extra nuclei to that domain to support further, any more further muscle growth. separate these things all the time it, it starts to get ridiculous particularly when you look at the data that we have that when they look at elite power lifters on DEXA scans they can pretty much tell you what their total is going to be from the DEXA. what if you have a nerve problem a neurological problem and you look big and strong or you were a lifter before and you damaged your spine or something and you look big and massive and now you can't lift because you severed a nerve or something or whatever and now you're big you're big you look massive or whatever, and you can't lift a heavy weight. What is he talking about? People have all kinds of autoimmune diseases, metabolic, neurological diseases. They can happen to anybody anytime. You can have a heart attack and it'd be, be big, and so what? Uh, you're gonna go lift a heavy weight anymore? No, because you got a heart attack. You're not gonna lift anything anymore. You're not gonna do shit. This guy is insane. I have a feeling he just plays reruns and reruns and reruns of videos that he does and then he just does talk overs at the same videos. He just circulates the same ones over and over again. He sits in this room now. Yeah, because he knows it's aging him. He stopped doing that because this is destroying him and his vegan diet. Scan their bodies and know in order of all 10 of them about which one has the strongest versus weakest total in order and it'll be accurate. Researchers can tell that from scanning their body. So what does this tell you? What is Leverages it? versus... What does it tell you? What does it tell us? Muscle, how it's distributed through the body, kind of determines which big three are, or your total at least. They can determine that because different proportions benefit you on different lifts. So that's kind of fascinating. They can't determine anything if you're crippled. They'll just determine that you can't live because you're crippled. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? And that comes back over to that point. And the thing that I would tell people, like, why do you want to be a fake? And, and that's the thing. When people say, I don't care at all about strength, I just want this look. Well, do you want that look? Because that look is associated with being strong and athletic and fit. But if you are not strong and athletic and fit... Then you mean if you can't lift a heavy weight, 
What is strong? Young people are strong when they're born. You get weak because you're eating vegan diet. <laughs> You'd be strong all the time if you eat a carnivore diet. You'd be super strong. But if you're eating toxic foods and sugar all day, of course you're going to be weak. That's why you're going to the gym because you got, you got weak. You didn't realize you've been weakening yourself. And you're like, oh, there's room for self-improvement. <laughs> you're a fake. Okay? And, he, and uh, yeah, he's a fake too. If you're, if you're building these sarcoplasmic muscles, you're all fake. Even the powerlifters doing it. Everybody. That's false advertising. I mean, really, it really is. If you think about that from that perspective, it's, it, it is completely fake. It's completely superficial. I just told you, a stronger cannot get you a bigger because it doesn't control the mass of the limb muscles. What part do these people not understand out there? A bigger does not get you a stronger. Not that one. Here it is. It says here, myositic androgen receptor controls the strength but not the mass of the limb muscles. So how can a stronger, a stronger, get you a bigger? You understand me? And if you lose these, if you lose these receptors, if they go down, guess what happens? Decreases muscle strength, thus demonstrating myositic AR controls key pathways required for maximum force production. See what I mean? Without that, and motor units and all these things working together, you don't have any strength to lift anything. You'll be fucked. But it has nothing to do with the mass because your body's compensating you with androgen receptors. They widen and you get more of them and then uh, you can lift something heavy because the, the molecule is binding to it. You understand me? To lift that furniture, that sofa, because you're practicing at lifting things like a, like a mover, <laughs> like a factory worker, bro. Get it, man? Yeah, that's all it's for. <laughs> These people are nuts, man. They're absolutely insane. They don't understand. Are, are you telling me that... that um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, gymna gymnasts are not strong. They're absolutely strong. Y you go and try to do those body weight exercises, moving around your body and stuff. It's fucking horrendous, bro. Your body has to give you these receptors for that, so it has to calibrate when you're doing that. It calibrates differently in every in every exercise. It calibrates your body differently when you do it. That is the whole point. So it's not responsible for the mass. A bigger, a stronger is not going to get you a bigger. And if you get a bigger and, and you didn't get a stronger, it's because you got, I told you, you got uh, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. There you go. And I'm not telling people not to do that. I'm training right now to look better. I am now focusing on my physique instead. No, he's been training to look better. He's getting upset because people are forwarding my videos to him, especially that pic with him and the newbie gains. I told you, he's stuck in MND size limit and newbie gains. He is never going to bypass it. Never, unless you do something very, very spectacular. He is never, ever going to bypass it. And it's already too late for him. He's already in his, what is he, in his 40s? He's in his 40s. It's, at this point, it becomes extremely, excruciatingly difficult to do that. The powerlifting, and it's, it's happening at a decent rate. Um, and, but I don't want to give up strength for it. It's mainly because I've been out of balance. And so that's kind of the point I'm making here. I've stepped back and reassessed and realized this divergence in the lifting world to where people go to these extremes that, that are all ridiculous. It's not really lifting, it's not really fitness, it's not. What does lifting have to do with anything? See what I mean? They're trying, they think they're building a muscle and then they lift and then they're not sure what they're building there. They're building sarcoplasmic muscles and it, it isn't myofibular anymore because that domain ended long time ago when you first came into the gym. See what I mean? You stayed there, you stayed there. That was your problem. What the history of physical culture has for generations before we yeah promote I used to say I really don't man look at the golden era of bodybuilders they all look small and even when they did take steroids they still look kind of small because they took some they took some steroids the problem was they didn't know about the glycogen they ate meat and stuff they ate small meals they didn't eat enough of this carbohydrate meals like you have today like you go into the stores back in 50s 40s 50s whatever even 60s, they didn't have that kind of food. Not even 70s when I when I was growing up, 60s and 70s, they didn't kind of have that food in the stores, man. 
Now, when you go to the, st the, 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 the stores, they're just filled with garbage since the 80s. They just filled up like crazy. Look at Dorian Yates. He started the mass monster here. Why? Carbohydrates. Tom Platts. All of them, they were talking to each other. It's the carbohydrate era. The fake, the era of more fake muscles. Do you understand me? Trying to exponentially blow up like a penis pump by putting more ATP into the muscle. This energy source glycogen. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. That's what they're training for. The lifting of the heavy weight stuff is all show thinking a heavy weight is going to build a muscle. That's why Ronnie Coleman looks like a skeleton. He looks like a mummy walking around now. Yeah, inclusive, sure. It's been tremendous. Since when has coach ever been inclusive? So I'm coming over to that to be healthy, to be fat, spending all this time training, and your art sucks. Okay. okay, all the guys who are into how they look can, can appreciate that. Now, yeah. Pull the weight off the floor without, without a ton of bar whip. Yeah, I, that's my ambition. I want to go to a gym and lift the heaviest weight so I can grow these androgen receptors so that everybody can revere me in a gym. I want to look like I, I can lift the heaviest weight in the gym, even though I spend like less than a fraction of my life in a gym. But I want to impress all the gym goers and scream and yell like cariacos. <laughs> Man, you spend most of your life in the street, around people and yourself and whatever. Your whole ambition should be focused on looking good. That's what society is only concerned about. They never see what you lift in a gym. I'm not saying you shouldn't lift something, but you don't need to lift ex exorbitantly super heavy. That is not going to do anything for you other than destroy your body. When you get old, you're going to wake up one day and your son is going to come and say, what's wrong? And you're going to say, son, I can't move. I just woke up in the morning and there's something wrong with me. You're going to scream and yell. There's something wrong with your back. I've seen it. I've seen it before. They come into the hospital screaming and yelling. Something happened. They can't move. That's it. They're, it's done. You're done. You're finished, man. All these things will just creep up on you overnight. You'll be like, oh my God, my knee gave and everything. My knee, that knee that you were using constantly, using it, using it and using it. They, they give eventually. They wear out. The more you use your knees, the more you wear them out. Your body's repair mechanism just keeps going downhill. Your muscle mass keeps going downhill. It doesn't go uphill. You don't get better. That's why a lot of majority of people go into the gym because they want to get better. They want to reverse that. No, that doesn't how it works. And then you make it worse on top of it, eating toxic foods and uh, carbohydrates and sugar and whatever else you're doing there. Got to have straps because my grip is just too weak to pick it up. Well, come on. Fix it. Why? Does, Why have you done does it really matter whether they use straps to pick up? So who gives a shit, man? Why is he so concerned about people? Tell this to yourself. I'm not even concerned what people are doing. Sometimes I put some videos there, some idiot doing something weird that can influence somebody to break their arms. But other than that, I don't care. And it doesn't even work that well because not in public one day. People are I say he should do what's best for him. I do what's best for me. <laughs> in public. Right places to get really strong. That's right. They see you in public, just like he said here. Really, you're not as thick. You're not all that you you are pretending to be. Okay. You're not all that you're pretending to be. But guess what? You can't prove. You can't prove it that they're not strong. See, that's the problem. They visually people believe what they see and what they hear. So you can go and babble as much as you want and say, "Well, look at that guy. You know, it's fake and all that." Yeah. Try to go tell them that in his face. Blah. -ha. See what happens. But you could be, because you really build muscle in all the places, uh, the right places to get really strong. You're going to look thicker. People are going to be able to tell. And then you will actually be able to perform on top of that. It won't just be fake. Because Oh, it won't just be fake. You'll be able to perform. And who are you performing for? Circus acts. See what I mean? This is all garbage. Nobody in their right mind gives a shit, man. Because sight, because your body, it, this world reality prevents you from doing it. You think you control the body. You think you're God, but you're not God and you don't control that body. See what I mean? The body does what it does. It does what it's best for it. <laughs> See you in the next one. Tell us what you think about that. Alexis Scott, support the channel. Comment down below. Helps the algorithm. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, friends.